Good morning, folks. We've got solar activity, including eruptive events and geomagnetic unrest here at Earth. We had two notable seismic events, and we'll see an excellent paper on galactic magnetic fields. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. One coronal hole departs and the other turns in. The active regions remained at high C-class flaring, but we had two filament eruptions as well. Both came off the incoming limb and produced coronal mass ejections. The second one was a gorgeous release on the south of a fairly large plasma filament. We'll watch that again here twice, a bit zoomed in. This one began releasing from its trailing coronal connection, but ended up having a full system lift, which did allow it to eject straight outward and not be aimed at Earth. We've added the Earth size scale here for comparison to appreciate the magnitude of that eruption. We'll be watching the other filaments and sunspots for more eruptions today. And as we discussed yesterday, we have two coronal hole streams we're watching set to consecutively impact Earth. The second coronal hole will face Earth tonight, but the first one, departing now, just had its solar wind stream enhancement arrive overnight, and it triggered a brief geomagnetic storm event and activity at low levels. Only modest speed to the enhancement, meaning we are unlikely to see more significant disruptions to the field. Quick look at those sunspots as well here. A bit of decay in a few of them, leaving the expansive group on the north as the most relevant to watch as it too turns in to face the Earth likely will be directly facing Earth on Thanksgiving. We had two notable seismic events in the West Pacific, 6.7 in Vanuatu that initially rang in at 7.0 and was downgraded, also a 6-pointer to the west of that in Indonesia. No significant damage reported from those. Top story today is about the coherent magnetic field of the Milky Way. Excellent work here confirming that the entire galaxy has one grand system of magnetic fields, including the radially flowing central plane structure, which is what we have long thought it looked like, which means the other components of that system exist as well. The poloidal field structure, and also within the plane, it's not a flat expanse of those fields, but a rippling, wavy electric current sheet that carries them. Good to confirm the science, not so good in terms of what that galactic current sheet and magnetic field means for our solar system. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.